Hello everyone, this is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Chris Gilson with a quick look at the forecast. Well, Kayla, it's going to be another warm night tonight, mainly clear skies. And then as we head into your Monday, yeah, the heat is going to stick around. It will be breezy at times, a slight chance for a spot storm. And that chance for an isolated storm will continue into Tuesday, along with the very hot temperatures. The fire danger will go up on Tuesday because our winds will be picking up. Later in the week, we'll see some moisture try to work back into New Mexico, at least for the eastern half of the state. That could spark some showers and thunderstorms, but it's a little bit too far out. We'll see how that pans out as we head into the next work week. New closures tonight around the Thompson Ridge fire in the Jemez Mountains. Crews were supposed to burn out one of the most dangerous fire prone areas last night, but the fire picked up, forcing crews to move a crucial containment line. Fire officials say the flames flared up last night on Redondo Peak, which is on the southern edge of the fire. The fire then started burning treetops, moving downhill toward the Valles Caldera, his headquarters and historic district then south toward an area where crews wanted to do the slow, controlled burn. The fire moved too fast and ended up passing containment lines. Early this morning, crews closed New Mexico Highway 4 between Highway 501 near Los Alamos and Highway 126 at La Cueva. It's only open to residents, but crews are confident they'll be able to stop the fire before it go comes down to the road. We certainly believe so, or we would not have chosen that line to work with. It is viable. We are going to be able to work in there and remove those fuels ahead of the fire. We've got some meadow to work with. We're looking to stop this fire right there. The Thompson Ridge fire has now burned more than 20,000 acres. Crews say it's 40% contained. High fire danger is prompting some changes in the Duke City. The Albuquerque Bosque will also partially close tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. until further notice. People will need to stay on designated trails or face a $500 fine. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Kayla Ayers. Thanks for logging on.